Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about a really interesting article from uh, the book The Best Writings on Mathematics. So The Best Writing on Mathematics is a publication that is released every year by the Princeton University Press and in 2015 there was a very interesting article about the contributing factors to the achievement gap between China and the US. So, and this is all in terms of mathematics. So I wanted to kind of highlight some of the really interesting uh, points and ideas that the two authors pointed out about the differences. And that doesn't mean to say that one is better than the other, but we can actually learn from different cultures and then adapt those great teaching ideas or learning strategies to our own context and ensure that it actually applies to our own cultures. So one of the probably most important difference is that in China, in China education is highly prized and valued. And so all parts of the community really try and encourage children and, their st and students to put as much effort into their studies as much as possible. And that means that when students are successful, when their child is successful, this is actually attributed to the effort and the dedication and hard work that they've put in rather than an innate ability that they're born with. So failure, on the other hand as well, is seen as a lack of effort and a lack of determination. Now, another interesting thing is that the education system in China is completely centralized by one body. So there is actually one set of textbooks, there's one set of teacher manuals, there's a teaching and learning framework, and then there's a workbook that's given to all students. Now in the US, as we know, it, the education system is decentralized and really governed by over 13,000 different school districts. It's more state-based, but really district-based. So districts really have um, the power to be able to decide administration, curriculum, and make all the important decisions about what happens in terms of the education and structure. If we were to specifically look at the textbooks, there's actually a big difference. So in the US, there's lots of publishers, but if we were to look at just an, an average textbook size, you know, a US textbook would be quite thick and quite heavy. If you look at a Chinese textbook per year, it's actually quite thin. So what's the difference between a really thick textbook and a thin textbook? Well, in the US, there tends to be a lot of repetition in the textbook. So using and adopting a spiral kind of curriculum where there's a lot of repetition and there's a lot of content coverage that's not necessarily encouraging depth of understanding. Now, in the Chinese textbooks, it's very clear it's very coherent, there's no repetition, and learning is focused on students attaining a mastery level when it comes to understanding different mathematical concepts. So in China, the focus on mathematical learning is really on a deep understanding of the concepts and attaining that mastery level. So I'm not really saying one is better than the other because there are a few other elements that we really have to take into consideration. So in my next video, I'll discuss the teachers and teaching and the differences between the US and China. I'll also look at the students and the student demographics and population too, and then give some recommendations of what I think we could take from both of the different cultures. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put a link to the book in the description box below and see you next time. Bye.